Hey yo, what is up everybody? My name is Michael and in today's video guys, I'll be teaching you guys on how you guys can just go ahead and set up and use a bot called G-Steel, which will basically just find it, which is basically just a group finding bot. And um, this bot is just, it's pretty fast. And um, basically it, it's just a bot that searches for groups that have no owners with them. And it just checks if they have Robux or if they have no Robux. Okay, now um, you can actually use this uh, uh, this bot for you know, for trying to get Robux, but the thing is, um, this you know it's like it might actually take a while to actually get like, like at least one Robux, uh, and um, yeah, and you can also just like use this group for like you know trying to get a like, free uh, open group so that you can you know, just use you know that free open group that has no owner in it to like uh, edit it and stuff and just make it your own group. But um, yeah, so anyways, uh, this bot is actually really good, and shout out to this guy, his name is uh, Exotic is Gone, I'm pretty sure, and uh, he made this bot, I'm pretty sure, but uh, yeah, and he, here's his Discord, uh, so uh, yeah, and I do actually believe that they are not updating their bot anymore, but um, yeah, and also guys, uh, before we get straight into this video, I just want to say real quick that this is actually not a virus. Uh, I'll even show you real quick. Uh, so if you actually download the um, file, it will tell you that it is not a virus. And if you don't believe me, uh, you just download the file off of Mega, and then put this into virus total, and then bam, it will just say it has no engines detected. Okay, and also, um, do not download, or do not watch any of these videos that tell you to download something. Uh, except for, uh, except for this, except for my video, because my video actually has uh, my video actually has a program that has no viruses in it, um, and uh, I, don't, I don't know if any of these programs have viruses in it, but they probably do. So um, yeah, just do not uh, download any, anything off of these videos. But um, and yeah. So anyways, guys, uh, let's just uh, get straight into this. I mean, like I said, this program has no virus, um, but this program. So once you first start running the program. It will make your PC slow, but all you have to do is just exit out of the program, and then bam, your PC won't be slow anymore. anymore. But um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, uh, let's just get straight into this video, shall we? Okay, guys. So the first thing that you guys just want to go ahead and do is make sure you have a Discord account. Okay, and after you have a Discord account, you just want to go ahead and make sure you have downloaded WinRAR. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys already have WinRAR, but if you don't have it already, just go ahead and download it. And also all the uh, links to in this video, uh, or all the links that, that are useful uh, that you actually will need in this video will actually be down in the, the description down below guys, and I'll actually label them so that you guys know what, you're, what link you're clicking on and you know, what you need and stuff, and yeah. But just go ahead and download, uh, go to this website right here, and download Runwar, so pick any language you want. Uh, so if, for example, if you're Turkish, you just pick the 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, and if you don't know what big computer is, just search it up. It's really easy to find out. But I'm English, so I picked the 64-bit, go through the installation process, and then you should have one more installed. Now, after you have one more installed, all you have to go ahead and do is just go ahead and go to python.org and go to downloads and then uh, just download the latest version for Windows, okay? Now, if, and if you're not on Windows, I'm almost 100% sure that uh, this program will actually not work for you, for you but um, yeah. You can also just use a VMware so that it can work for you and yeah just use Windows on the VMware but anyways so install Python so I'm just gonna install Python real quick uh, something like this should pop up click on it and it'll say install Python uh, you just want to go ahead and click add Python to path right there make sure uh, actually make sure both of these are actually um, checked and then just click install now it'll ask you for administrator uh, Access, just click yes. This to download. Okay. And uh, I'll actually, oh, okay. okay, it's almost done. And uh, just, yeah, just wait uh, for Python to be done downloading. Okay. As you see here, it's almost done.
And as you guys can see here, Python is now done. Now you just want to click on to close. And to make sure that you actually have Python installed, go right here, type in CMD, click enter, and just type in Python. And if this pops up, if these three arrows pop up and you know all this pops up, then that means you have successfully installed Python. Now, uh, you just want to go ahead and go back up to command prompts, but make sure that uh, you, know, you open up a new tab uh, or a new command prompt and type in pip. And after typing in pip and none of this comes up, and that means that you will actually have to follow this video on how to download PIP. And that will also be down in the description down below, guys. But anyways, uh, and, but you know, if all of this does show up, then you're basically good to go. And you do not have to follow that video on installing PIP. Now, we can just exit out of these real quick. Uh, bam. Also, like I said, uh, this uh, program right here has the viruses. Okay, exit out MR. Now, I'll just go ahead and go over to Mega real quick, and it'll, as you can see here, it says GSteal. Now, you just want to go ahead and download this. Okay, let's get at this real quick. Now, as you can see here, GSteal will, G -Steel will be right there. But I'll put this onto your desktop. So, that. And then you can just, then just make a folder. I'll just name this test. Open this baby up, select all of these, put it into here, so like that, refresh if you want to, and as you guys can see here, you will have all this stuff right there, uh, get this out of here, okay, now after that, uh, you, you just want to go ahead and go back to uh, your, your browser or whatever, go back to Discord. And once you're on Discord, you just want to go ahead and make a, another server. So, a server test. Now, after that, you guys just want to go ahead and click on to create a channel. So, name this uh, Over 10. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to name this uh, Over 10 Robux. I'm just going to change the home. So, I will actually just change this name to Under 10 Robux. Okay, and you guys will actually see why in a little bit, because we actually... Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. Good thing. Hold on. Why? Why do you... Why are you doing... Okay. Under 10 Robux. Save changes. Uh, then you put this as... Um, no Robux, I guess. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. Um... So yeah, and you can also, so basically, uh, for this right here, you can just, or actually, um, so you just want to make a channel, uh, with, like, over the amount of Robux that you want to select, uh, for default or whatever, so, I just picked 10 Robux, uh, and I prefer you guys pick 10 Robux too, uh, and where it says under 10 Robux, uh, you know, just put in uh, under 10 Robux or a Robux of your choice. I'm gonna have to put it too high because it might, because it, well, to be honest here, probably won't get a, it, it t probably take like a long time for you to even get a server with like over 100 Robux or under, so you know, just probably put 10 or 5 and um, make a channel that has no, that says no Robux. Now you just want to make webhooks for all of these uh, servers right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna make one. Yeah, Captain Hook, sure, copy, or. Just make webhooks for all of these uh, channels real quick. Okay. And Spidey Bots and G. Alright, now after you've made all these channels and you've made the webhooks, you just want to go ahead and open up. Uh, oops. Oh, I just exposed myself, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's where all my videos go to. But, um, yeah, so you just want to go ahead and open up test, and then you just want to click on to run, and it will ask you to either uh, start or configure GSteel. So, basically, I will just go ahead and, uh, or, or you actually guys have to go ahead and type in uh, 2, okay, so, click so just click enter, and uh, what Robux amounts do you consider low, just put 5 or 10, but you can put whatever you want in there, but, you know, like I said, I prefer, you know, either 5 or 10, so I'll just pick 10. 
And I messed up there. Okay, sorry. Alright, so... It's uh, type 2. What uh, Robux amount do you consider low? So I'm just going to type in 1. So now I'm going to set this as 1. Or actually 10, sorry. Click enter. Uh, what Discord uh, web hook URL you're just using for the groups with less amount of Robux? So I'm just going to go back to Discord, uh, where it says under 10 Robux, go to webhooks, edits, read the webhook, go back to here, go back to this program, paste your webhook, paste enter, uh, with more than 10 Robux, or 5 Robux, click edit, copy, save, paste, uh, groups with no Robux, go from here to, to this channel, go to webhooks, click edit, Copy, save, escape, just get out of that, enter, and the pro uh, after you've entered everything, I uh, just want to go ahead and, or er, the program will actually uh, just, you know, uh, end. So after the program has ended, I just want to go ahead and go back to test, look, uh, go back to run, and click, uh, type in one. So now, so now I'm using, I just want to go and type in one. And then it'll say start, uh, which basically will start this program. And as you can see, this should pop up. Uh, and it says, how many threads do you want? Now, if you have a bad computer, I'd actually recommend uh, either 50 or 100. But um, if uh, if you have like a really good computer, uh, I of course actually recommend like, if you have like a really, really good computer, uh, I recommend 850 or, you know, like 500. Yeah, because, so like, if you have a bad computer and you want to do like 850 or 500, uh, so I'm just going to do 850 real quick, and it will ask you what customized node do you want on your embed, just, you know, put whatever, so I'm just going to spam real quick, because like, it literally doesn't matter what you put there, and, oh, okay, so we just got like one group, but, um, yeah, so your program will actually crash after like a little bit if you put it on like a high, uh, thread amount, and your computer's not that good. So, I um, yeah, I'm just gonna actually set it as one. So I'm just exit out of this real quick. Yeah. Yeah, and so if the total checking actually stops, then that means it's about to crash. So, um, let's just actually get out, here, get out of here real quick. Okay, let's uh, run this again. Click on to start uh, GCL. Okay, uh, I did not mean uh, click, I meant type one so that you can start GCL. Okay, make sure, like I said before, do not put it on high threads if you have a bad computer. If you have a really good computer, just put it on high threads uh, so that uh, so it can go faster. But like, like I said, if you have a bad computer and you put it on like 850 or like 500, then the program will crash. So just put it on like 50 or, or 50 or like 100. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. I'm just going to click enter. Uh, just type in test, I guess. And if you look up here real quick, it will say total checking. So it'll tell you how many groups it is checking to see if they have Robux or not. Uh, so most of the time, uh, some of the groups are actually, there's like no groups at all. But um, yeah, so actually, uh, I'll actually get back to you guys and um, I get like one valid group. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back and it, like 12,000 servers have been checked. And only t and 12,000 servers have been checked in like what, like three minutes or two minutes, which was actually pretty fast. And then we already got like one group. Uh, this is the group ID. Uh, this is, it has no owner, and this is the um, name of the group. And also, guys, I don't know if I told you guys already. Uh, told you guys about this already, but basically, if you get lots of errors, uh, you are good. Okay, do not worry. If you get these errors, you're basically good to go. And if you have this total checking right here, and you know, as long as this total checking is uh, uh, changing numbers, then you're good to go, okay? Just ignore these, uh, just ignore these, um, like, uh, ignore these, like, ignore, ignore these, um, errors, okay? Just, you know, just as long as this is going, then you're good to go. I'm just gonna exit out of this real quick. And, um, I had to make a new server because one of my, uh, videos uh, got corrupted and I had to make a new server and I deleted the old one but um yeah so as you can see, as you can see here the group has just been uh, posted in the server so I'm just gonna open up the link real quick 
Yeah, as you see, it has like one member in there. But um, yeah, for some reason, this is unable to. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it says it is, for some reason it just says uh, unable to load to load group, which um, kind of sucks. But uh, yeah. So anyways, guys. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, my name is Michael, and I am out.